All right. Um, well, got a chance to review our game and you know just kind of what I saw during the game. A lot of a lot of good things and a lot of things we've got to we've got to certainly improve uh, to have a chance to get to four zero. Uh, but I'm really proud of our guys uh, and just how they competed. You know, we're three and zero, and again, that's that's where we hope to be at this point. But um, got to have a great week of practice and just continue to really. You know, coach hard and be coachable uh, to to correct a few more things. But you know, the guys are playing with a lot of effort and passion, and, and uh, you know, we got a chance to play a lot of guys uh, last night, which was good. And, you know, at one point, I think we had four true freshmen out there in the in the game on defense in in critical time. So, you know, a lot of a lot of guys getting some good experience, <clears throat> which is good. Uh, and again, a lot of good things on both sides. Uh, uh, you know, we gave up six yards rushing, um, only created four turnovers, got another stop on fourth down there, uh, a bunch of PBUs, and got better on the screen game, did a much better job on third and fourth down. Uh, so good to see us kind of get back to where we need to be there. But <clears throat> definitely got a, um, you know, disappointed in, in some of the big plays we gave up. Really, it was about eight plays that really um, – you know, we just got a, you know, a couple of them. You know, it was three plays that are just were good competitive plays. You're not going to make every play, uh, but the other five of the eight big plays are are things we really got to we got to clean up. And, and it's communication, it's leverage. We we had two busts, uh, so discipline and in, 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 you know, having our eyes on the right things, playing the right techniques. <clears throat> so, uh, but again, um, a lot of good things. And uh, stuff we can build on, and then we 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 had a nice stretch of really playing some good complimentary football. Uh, really love how we're turning the ball over in these first three games. Uh, it's really good to see. I was disappointed with the big penalty that we had. We had a hold on the on the interception by Malcolm, and then we obviously had the block kick. You know, got the ball and then fumbled it, uh, gave them back to him, gave him new life, and, and that was probably the biggest disappointment. Was you know the second quarter. Uh, time of possession they had the ball 10 minutes five seconds and kind of took the air out of us a little bit but uh, just like how the guys responded you know um, really do you know first half offensively we did a lot of good things just needed to convert two of those at least one of those field goals um, into a touchdown it probably would have felt a little different but, you know just good to see us uh, uh, you know hit hit some big plays um you know, I think we had two two one play touchdowns. Uh, you know, good balance. And we really got the running game going. Uh, you know, again, made some great finishes on some plays. Missed a few plays too, but no turnovers, and no sacks on the OL. Uh, continue to do a good job. Three games of consistency on third down and fourth down. You know, I just I see us gaining some confidence. You know, every, all the running backs made plays. The, Receivers, uh, you know, it's good to see our receivers and tight ends you know, just, again, starting to emerge a little bit. And then, and then DJ, uh, I just love how he's competing. <clears throat> I mean, he's he's not perfect. Nobody is out there. But, man, he is really competing his tail off, and, you know, rushed for almost seven yards of carry. And that's that's really, uh, you know, created some, some, uh, some big plays for us. So a lot of good things. That's a good individual efforts. And um, – uh, you know, just special teams. You know, it's good to see us block that kick again. Uh, doing a lot of good things there, but uh, didn't think we we punted the ball or covered the ball well on our punt coverage. Uh, you know, that's a good little returner they had. So again, a lot of stuff. You know, we got the win um, and continue to learn a lot about our team and a lot of things that we can, you know, coach off a of tape. And and uh, you know, we've got to we got to really improve this week. Great week of practice. Uh, so be a, uh, a tough road game against a really veteran, experienced, and and um, you know you know very competitive, and uh, in, in, you know a championship uh, caliber team in Wake Forest. You know they're the, they're the Atlantic Division champs, and um, you know they know what it looks like, and they're confident in that. So we'll have to correct some of these mistakes to to have a chance to go and find a way to win this one. Uh, injury wise we've got you know some guys coming back some guys that are just a little banged up here or there they're day to day but again uh, overall in a pretty good spot 
Hey, Coach Trevor from CUTigers.com. Um, you, you got to get uh, Toriano and, and uh, Jaden Lucas in there quite a, a bit last night. Um, teachable moment uh, for, for pride on the touchdown, I guess. But otherwise, um, how do you think those guys, those freshman corners, acquitted themselves? Well, you know, definitely, you know, just baptism by fire right there, man. They, 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 had, to, they had to go play. Uh, we were down – you're down, uh, you know, uh, Sheridan. You're down, Nate, and uh, so you know, those guys. That's what they're here for. And so it's good for them. And you know, there's going to be some when you play corner. I mean, you're 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 going to give up a play or two here or there. You know, how do you respond to that? And you know, it was a good throw and catch on the one on Toriano, but he also made some plays. And I saw his confidence grow. Same thing with Jay Lou. Um, he gave up one, but he, he made some plays. I loved his effort on the one, the one play that we busted there uh, that would have had a chance to score. Uh, but he went and, and got the guy down, which gave us a chance to kind of reload, play some D. But uh, you know, great experience. That's the most experience they've had. So really good for them. Uh, again, a lot, a lot we can teach from, and, and um, you know, the more they play, the better they're going to be. You know, really talented guys. Um, but definitely a lot of room for improvement. Hey, Dabo, this is Anna. Um, I guess in the first half, could Will Shipley have done something differently uh, maybe a couple of times in the pass protection? Uh, no, he did, he did fine. I mean, he had a, he had a uh, couple of hard charging backers that he cut. I mean, we had one, you know, that you're probably referring to that's, that was an RPO. And, you know, he thinks he's getting the ball. He's not – he's he's – he just, you know, got a, he came off he came off late and tried to hit a guy, but it didn't really affect the throw. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, there was there was he had, he had maybe one bad play where the guy really bowled him, but uh, where he was maybe a little late seeing. And then again, the, the, there was one other play that he was late to the guy, but it was an RPO, and, and um, you know, you kind of you kind of live with that. But uh, he had a couple good cuts, and uh, you know, he's a he's a He's a very willing guy, and I'll continue to give you all he's got and keep getting better. Coach, it's Trevor again. Um, just uh, one penalty on the offense, the the bad hole by Tristan Lee, but no pre-snap penalties for the first time this season. Got to be pleased with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. And then, again, no turnovers. We were lucky, though. We had a couple probably – you know, good breaks there that we didn't turn it over, but um, we're really pleased with that. I was disappointed with, uh, you know, we were all sides on defense and we had a guy late getting off one time. We got 12 men. And, and then obviously the the penalty on the, on the uh, interception, you know, we got to clean that up. We got to, you got to, you got to become, you have to be an off, you become that offensive mentality when you, when you, when you get the ball and you got some type of interception return or fumble return or whatever. You know, because lost a lot of yards on that play. You know, we were fortunate to we put a long touchdown drive together, <clears throat> but the hole put us back. So, um, you know, six penalties. That's I think that's the most we've had. I think, uh, but uh, you know, certainly some things we can coach off of and clean up. Dabo, this is Matt. Are there any guys that you know will be out this week, or is it kind of wait and see and stuff like that? Uh, I think it's just kind of wait and see. I think we're at that point where most all these guys are, are kind of day to day, and you know, might be some week to week uh, as we move forward. But <clears throat> not anybody right now that I know is out. Dabo, it's Anna again. Uh, would you say that this was Lake Miller's best game, just from a totality standpoint? Yes. Yeah. He's he's getting better. Um, he's he's truly. Improving uh, every, every every time he he takes the field, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's very competitive. He's very prideful in his work, and uh, you know, playing a lot of snaps. He, he had a, a, another winning grade, another winning performance. So just uh, just keep building with him. But he's when you when you're talented and, and, and you have the ability he has, and then you have the 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 work ethic, and again just just the conscientiousness, you know, you care like he cares. You're, you're going to do what you need to do to improve. So it's been good to see. Yeah, well, I know you talked a little about Wake earlier. What have you seen from Sam Hartman since he's been there? 
Well, I'm just diving into him tonight. <clears throat> so he, he's, but I've I've seen him for twelve years, I think. Um, he's just a he's a competitor. I mean, he's just a winner. That's the biggest thing I can say about this kid. He's he really has ownership of everything that they're doing. I mean, it's a very veteran group. And he's a savvy guy. He's he's you know I mean, he knows all the nuances uh, of defense and. And how it applies to their offense, and, and you know where to go with the ball. It's, it's just a very, very crafty, um, you know, player. And again, best, he's just a winner, a great leader, obviously, and and uh, has had a heck of a career. Hey, Coach Lawton Swan. I know last week you were concerned with some of the effort defensively. This. You know, last night you get 12 batted balls. Just, you know, when you go back and watch the film, how much of that just simply came down to, hey, those guys giving a little more? Yeah, they, they played hard, uh, both sides. I mean, I, I was very pleased with just our overall, uh, you know, effort. I mean, guys are guys are competing, and, uh, you know, they're, they're starting. I mean, again, that's part of the early part of the season and really trying to teach and make sure everybody understands – you know, what the expectation is and what it looks like and what it doesn't look like. Um, so, you know, it was good. <clears throat> now we just got a – we hadn't had a lot of busts, but we had a, we had a couple busts last night that, that, that cost us um, that we got to clean up. And then just, you know, some of our, our zone principles and drops and, and those type of things. But effort was, was really good. Coaches, Trevor, again, um, a lot of people might say, um, even, even former quarterbacks, that, uh, you know, come to the sideline like DJ did last night for taking a couple series off when, when Cade was in there and then having to come back in might be difficult or disrupt your rhythm. But DJ said after the game that, uh, you know, he, he, he didn't think he was going to go back in, but he, he's, he stayed engaged and, and made sure that, you know, he was, he was in the game mentally. I guess that doesn't surprise you at all about him. No, no, he's that's just how he's wired, man. He's a he's an incredibly focused and engaged uh, young man, and you know we we were hoping that we wouldn't have to <clears throat> put those guys back in, but we kind of got that that late late touchdown, and we stalled out on the drive, and so you know we just just wanted to finish well and and you know make sure we got con we got control of the game, and uh, so it was good to see those guys go in and go right down the field and score. And, uh, and it was good for the backups to see him do that too. Uh, so, you know, good, good. He had a, he had a, he had a good game, another good game. And again, just great leadership. Uh, he's just a, he's a great teammate. These guys love him and, uh, he's just playing with, he's playing with just relentless effort and heart and passion to win. And, uh, <clears throat> really appreciate that about him. And, and again, just supportive of, of Cade and supportive of, you know, all those guys. And so he, he, just because he wasn't in there, I mean, he was he was certainly locked in for sure. Hey, Coach, it's David Hood. It, hey, he had that, that early success against Georgia Tech, and now he's finding, you know, hey, it's a little bit tougher tougher now. How How is his outlook and, and mindset right now? Oh, he's good. Kate's great. He's just, it's just great to be able to get him in there, and I'm glad he's been able to play in all three games. And, <clears throat> you know, he's had some good plays, and couple other plays that he's 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 learning from and you know again just uh, he's a he's a great one man he's a winner and just gonna keep getting better you know just kind of like what I said about Blake earlier I mean, super talented great work ethic great preparer and uh and conscientious so you got you got those attributes you're gonna you're gonna keep improving so it's been good man he, he'll be ready if we need him and we'll just continue to to learn from every rep he gets I had a, a high school coach tell me earlier today that he loves Will Shipley, and he said that kid plays with a fire in his belly. And I thought that was a, an apt description. Does he kind of remind you of anyone that's been at Clemson before that you played with, with that, you know, just absolute passion and love for the game that he has? Oh, man, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's special. I mean, he really um, – he's very talented, obviously, but, but – it's it, it is his I mean he just is his motor runs at a level that 
you can't coach. And, you know, oftentimes it's hard to match. I mean, he just really – and he's that way all the time. It doesn't matter if you're running sprints in the summer. He's going to win every sprint, the first one and the last one. That's just kind of how he's wired. It goes back to his mentality and his mindset. <clears throat> but, um, you know, we've had a lot of a lot of guys, uh, you know, passionate about what they do. I mean, he, he's kind of he's kind of like Grady Jarrett playing tailback. You know, he's just got that that motor that just never stops. And uh, you know, he's you put that with the with the talent he has. Uh, you know, he's he's not going to have many bad bad days. Uh, he's you love that about him. I just love his consistency as far as his his effort and then you know just huge plays. Um, a lot of big plays, and again, just goes back to, to just I will not be denied attitude. And then I thought our OL just really blocked really, really well at the point of attack and uh, got him to the second level. I thought our receivers did a great job. I thought Ngata had a couple of really big-time key blocks. And again, you know, the, the big plays in the run game come, you know, when you, when you can get them to the second level and then you got guys working hard downfield uh, with you, like your receivers. So, uh, you know, good, to, good to see him have a night like that. His confidence is growing, you know, every week, week by week, and and uh, you know he just brings a lot of energy to to everybody on the field, <clears throat> and he demands it from everybody too. Dabo, I know you said there's some things to clean up offensively. When you look at averaging over 40 points a game through through three games, is this more of what you were hoping to see from the offense this year? And how close do you feel like you guys are to, to being a, a really good offense? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, heck, we couldn't score, we couldn't hardly score thirty last year. And uh, like I said last night, I mean, last year we, we, that's why I was so proud of that team and how they finished because we, you know, we we, we had to kind of manufacture everything, uh, you know, down the stretch to finish that season with a six-game winning streak, um, you know, and this 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 team it's kind of all there i mean it's got they just got to do it as i said i mean it's we we've had very few drives where you know it's not there um and so i'm just been pleased with them we're, we're we're better around dj he's better uh, and we're we're you know three games in uh, that doesn't make a season and we're gonna play you know a lot better competition as we keep moving forward here <clears throat> but you know we we We've played we've played a lot better, uh, and we're doing some good things. It's good to see the explosiveness. It's good to see us, us, you know, starting to gain some confidence back in the passing game. The things that we were really poor at last year, throwing the ball, we're, we're better. We were poor in third down. We're better. We're poor in the red zone. We're better. You know, there's there's a lot of good things that is, that's happening. So we just got to keep growing and building. But I do see their confidence coming, and uh, you know that's a good thing starting to kind of figure our people out and uh, you know it's it's going to be uh, uh, you know hopefully a, 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 an offense that will gel and continue to gel and continue to grow that confidence and, and compete uh, and be able to make the plays when they need to make them uh, to win the type of games we're going to have to win to have a great year. Evan, with Adam Randall, do you expect him to be on a pitch count again this week or will he maybe get a few more no, nah, I think he got like 18 snaps, and it was good. Just really good to see him in there. But uh, no, I think they've given him the green light now. Uh, so we'll just see how we do in practice, and and uh, we'll get him, keep get, keep bringing him along. Coach, how about the uh, how about uh, Mickens making the most of his opportunity last night, kind of playing center field <laughs> on that double pass? I, I want to say he had a similar interse- interception in the spring game. Yeah, he had a great game. He was one of our players of the game. I'm really proud of him. Uh, you know, had a, had a uh, played a lot of snaps, like a great 91. percent He was he was a real bright spot for us uh, defensively. So, just he's got good instincts. He has good you know, just football awareness, and and um, you know is rarely out of place. Uh, and he's physical, so he's got good ball skills. So I'm proud of him, man. It was a, that was a uh, a good you know his first start for him this season. So really proud of, of how he performed and, and just his readiness. Anybody else for coach? 
Yeah, I got one. Dabba, this is Chapel with the State. Um, in the time they've been able to play, what have you seen from the second team offensive line? Have any specific guys kind of stood out to you among that next five? Yeah, it was good to see them get a little more time. I mean, we got we got some, uh, you know, Mitchell and, and Tucker. Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about those guys. And, and you know, they're getting <clears> – <throat> I think they got, you know, maybe the most reps there. Tristan Lee's getting a little better. Um you know, I think Sadler is a very natural player. He's very physical. It was good to see Dietrich get out, get out there. I thought he, he, you know, had a nice motor to him when he got out there, finished a couple of blocks. And you know, we got Lenthico Mantran in there. So, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's coming along, but it, it, it's kind of, you know, our our sixth and seventh guy right now would probably be Mitchell and, and uh, uh, Tucker, you know. So they're, they're right there. And then Sadler is – is uh, coming along as well, but start trying to just continue to develop the depth that we need. Um, but you know that first group is is starting to gel pretty good. Anyone else? <clears throat> All right, thank you, Coach. All right, guys, Thanks, Coach. appreciate it.